Good morning, boys and girls. Right before we left school, we were all researching about trees and the ways that animals and people depended on them. Over the next couple of weeks, we're still gonna be learning about trees, but this time we are gonna be looking at how trees are important to us in our community. Today, I'm gonna to read you a story called A Tree for Emmy. And I want you to be thinking about how the little girl Emmy enjoyed her tree. To enjoy something means it brings you joy or happiness. So the tree in this book, the mimosa tree, brings our character a lot of happiness. And I want you to just be thinking about those ways as we read the story. The author of the story is Mary Ann Rodman, and the illustrator is Tatiana May Wiss. Let's look to see what ways Emmy enjoyed her tree. Emmy loved all kinds of trees. Oak trees with acorns, pine trees with cones, willows with long swishy branches, but best of all, Emmy loved the mimosa tree in grandma's pasture. In spring, Emmy swung from the tree's strong low branches. Look at me, she shouted. I'm a possum swinging by my tail. I declare, Emmy, said grandma, that old tree is a lot like you, stubborn and strong and a little bit wild. In summer, the tree was covered with fuzzy pink blossoms. Emmy put one blossom over each ear. Look at me, she called. I'm a fuzzy bug with pink buggy feelers. In fall, the tree's seed pods covered the ground. When Emmy shook them, the pods rattled like maracas, which are those things you shake that make noise. My tree, my tree, my beautiful tree, Emmy sang. She danced around the pasture, shaking the pods. Stubborn and strong and a little bit wild, just like me. Emmy's yard didn't have a mimosa tree. It had willows and oaks and pines. They're nice, Emmy said, but they're not stubborn and wild. They're not like me. Emmy's birthday came in the summer. I want a mimosa tree for my birthday, she said. What would you do with it, asked Mama. Love it and water it and play with it, said Emmy. Okay then, said Daddy. Let's go buy a mimosa tree. But buying a mimosa tree was not so easy. A mimosa, said the man at the garden store. We don't have any of those. Why not, asked Emmy. Mimosas grow wild, we don't sell them. Why not, asked Emmy. You don't buy wildflowers, do you, young lady, said the man. Stores don't sell clover and dandelions. Clover and dandelions are pretty, Emmy said. Sorry, said the lady at the next shop. No one sells wild trees. But it's going to be my birthday present, said Emmy. The lady smiled. We have plum trees and peach trees, sweetie. They will give you nice fruit. But they don't have fuzzy pink flowers, said Emmy. Here's a tulip tree, said the lady. It has lovely pink, lovely pink blossoms in the spring. Are they fuzzy, asked Emmy. No, said the lady. Do they have rattly sea pods that shake, 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 asked Emmy. No, said the lady. Pink fuzz and sea pods make a dreadful mess. I'm sure your parents wouldn't want that. We want what Emmy wants, said Daddy. Come on, Emmy, we'll find something else for your birthday. I don't want something else, said Emmy. Mama hugged her. I know, honey, but we can't find your tree right now. Just for today, could you visit Grandma's tree? <sighs> I guess, sighed Emmy. At Grandma's, she ran straight to her favorite tree and gave it a hug. Silly old stores, said Emmy. No mimosas, no fair. She flopped down under the tree and squeezed her eyes shut to keep in the tears. Something touched Emmy's nose. She opened her eyes. A big weed was tickling her face. No, it wasn't a weed. With that long stem and those feathery green leaves, it looked like... Wait a minute. Could it be... It was a mimosa tree. 
Emily ran to get Mama and Daddy and Grandma. My, my, said Grandma, peering down. That's a mimosa, all right, a baby one, but a tree all the same. Can I have it, Grandma, begged Emma, begged Emmy, for my birthday, please? Why, surely, said Grandma. So Grandma and Emmy set to work. Carefully, they dug up the tiny tree. Emmy wrapped the roots in wet newspaper so they wouldn't dry out. Then they put the mimosa in a big tomato can for the trip home. Emmy scouted the yard for a special place for her tree. Under my window, she decided, so I can see it all the time. Emmy and her parents dug a hole for the little tree. I can't wait for fuzzy pink flowers and rattly seed pods, said Emmy. When will that be? Emmy, honey, it's just a baby tree, said Mama. It won't have flowers or pods for quite a while. It won't, said Emmy. No, said Mama. No fair, yelled Emmy. Silly old tree. She ran to her room and flopped on the bed. She buried her head in her pillow and wished for a tree like Grandma's, stubborn and strong and tall. <laughs> Emmy sat up and looked out the window. Daddy was cutting the grass. Soon, he would be under her window. She ran outside. Daddy, she shouted, waving her arms. Daddy turned off the lawnmower. My tree, said Emmy. You're going to mow over it. Hmm, said Daddy. You mean that silly old tree? Emmy looked down at her tiny tree. It can't help being small, she said. It will grow someday if I water it and love it and keep it safe. I suppose so, Daddy said. Why don't we build it a fence? So Emmy and her daddy made a stick and string fence all around the tree. Now it can grow, said Emmy. Till then, I can pick pink blossoms off Grandma's tree. But someday soon, Emmy knew her baby tree would grow up tall, stubborn and strong, and a little bit wild, just like her. Okay, I want you to think about what were some of the ways that Emmy enjoyed that tree. There were several because it made her want to go and plant her own mimosa tree in her yard. So think about what were some of the ways she enjoyed her tree? And are any of those ways something that you do to enjoy trees?